Hi, my name is Mrs. Christy Esbeck. This video is a little about my role and the house and technology units which include digital technologies and design technologies that will be taught this year. A little bit about me, I live in Clermont. Family is very important to me. I have a husband and three children. My eldest girl is in her fourth year of university and living in Brisbane. My son is starting university in Brisbane this year and my youngest boy is in year 10. I have lots of hobbies with that focus around art. I enjoy learning new ways to create things. I also enjoy volunteering and I've volunteered for both the primary and the high schools that my children attend and multiple other community groups. Currently I'm the president of the Clement Arts Link which is the Clement Art Group and I run a number of events including Golden Cult Festival and Wombat Festival. I've been teaching at Capella since 2019 in various positions mostly lower school and for the first semester I'll be in 1-2-H Thursdays and 1-2-F Fridays. This year is my third year as a specialist teacher teaching house and technologies and it's a role which I really enjoy. Capella State School teaching and learning programs are based on the Australian curriculum which sets the expectations of what students should be taught regardless of their background or where they live. Eight learning areas which includes has and technologies and across those learning areas there are three cross curriculum priorities and seven general capabilities. In HAS, technologies have a strong link to the three priorities of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures, Asian and Australian engagement and sustainability. Within the seven general capabilities, ICT capabilities have the most direct link with technologies. For house this semester, prep students will identify special events in their lives and talk about how they are celebrated. Year one and two students will explore and explain how technology has shaped daily life. They will investigate an important historical place, considering how people are connected to it and why it should be preserved. Year three and four students will investigate factors that shape identity, the importance of laws, the significance of Cook's exploration and the impacts of the First Fleet. Year 5 and 6 students will investigate how Australia became a federation, exploring the three levels of government and how citizenship rights have changed for different groups. For semester 2, prep students will identify, represent and describe the features of familiar places and suggest ways to care for a special familiar place. Students in Year 1 and 2 will recognise the world is divided into geographic divisions and investigate how people are connected to places. Year 3 and 4 students will investigate and compare the diverse characteristics of two places in Queensland and how people are connected to these places. And year students in grade 5 and 6 will compare places, people and cultures of Australia and Indonesia, identifying how they are connected and explain how resources can be used to benefit individuals, community and the environment. For the first semester, we are focusing on digital technologies. Prep students will identify the purpose of common digital systems. Year one students will represent data to make meaning. Year two students will design an algorithm to solve the problem. Year three and four students will collect and manipulate data to create information, drawing, identifying and explaining data types and representations and they will describe how familiar information systems are used. Semester 2 technologies will focus on design technologies with prep students designing solutions to help a farmer then following steps to make food from garden produce. Year 1 students will design a character puppet with moving parts to use in a puppet show. Year 3 and 4 students will apply understanding of the properties of materials to reproduce an item into another useful item. And Year 5 and 6 students will de design solutions to meet a need and evaluate its suitability for its use. 
Throughout the year, in addition to the HAS and technology, there are some additional programs that I'm proud to be a part of. The first is the BMA Bright Minds Partnerships, which is a great support to our school for STEM related activities and equipment. The partnership has allowed us to have Project Impact delivered to our year six students. This is where STEM specialist teachers remotely deliver a digital technology unit. There are limited numbers of schools that are allowed into this program and we're pleased to pay, be a part of this group. Other programs that we have are from QVSA, which is the Queensland Virtual STEM Academy. They have small groups of students with a STEM specific programs and we select students from year fives and six for these programs. In the third term, we are also going to be part of a special program ran by Future Anything. More news will come about this as we get closer to term three. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. I'm always happy to discuss any queries that you have. Thank you.